three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Hello. Hi. You didn't say hello when I walked in. Are you hiding? No, I'm not hiding, no. Well, I had I had four towels in my room until I went down to the honeymoon boat. Then I had three because I left the fourth one in here. So you found it. Good. I found it, and I found you. You're the man that did not kill the man in the wheelchair. I'm Zach Slater. You're the man that my boyfriend hates more than anyone in the world. Who's your boyfriend? Do many people hate you that much? There's a few. What's your boyfriend's name? Sam Gray. Sam Gray. Yeah, he's, uh... He's right near the top of the people who hate me list. Can I see the list? I, I didn't bring it. I don't have it on me. Why are you here if you're not hiding? I lost something. Well, I'm a great detective. Tell me what you lost and I can help you find it. I lost something. I didn't... It's... Uh, um... I'm, I'm here to think, you know, about stuff, feelings and things. That's... Oh. Well, that's a lot harder than detecting. I don't understand feelings either. I have a place where I can go to think, too. It's a hollow tree. It smells safe. Well, maybe this is my hollow tree, then. It doesn't smell safe. It smells like chlorine. Very nice girl. Thank you. I'd rather be nice than hot. Can you tell what I'm feeling by my face? I, I guess you're happy, right? Yes. Because my dad married the woman that's supposed to be my mother, and I didn't ruin the honeymoon after all. There, there was a chance of that? Or? Oh, yes. <laughs> a honeymoon should be for the bride and groom only, because... When they're married, they want to have sex, and kids shouldn't be around for that. No, they, no, they really sh they, they should know. No. So Reggie came and got me, and then he got seasick, and I felt really bad. I'm sure he's fine. He is. Well, if you can tell me what I'm feeling, I'm happy. What are you? I, I don't... I don't understand. Well, I take a life skills class because people are very difficult to read and understand. We study expressions and faces and tone. I'm not sure about your expression. What is it? Well, this is the face of a man who's been dead wrong about pretty much everything in his life. <laughs> you can't be right or wrong about anything if you're dead. You're right. That's, it's just an expression, you know? It's totally wrong about a lot of things, that's all. The odds of being wrong all the time are very small. I manage. Well, I've been wrong a lot, too, but I guess you beat me. Beat meaning you win. But if the contest is the amount of times you get something wrong, I guess you really lose more than you win. You're right about that. So, who's on the people that hate you list? Well, let's see. Um, there's your stepmother, Erica. Erica's happy. You can't hate anyone when you're happy. Oh, you'd be surprised. She disapproves of the way I dealt with Ethan. Your son, Ethan? Kendall's fiancé sometimes. Yeah. And she has an opinion as to how I dealt with Maria, Sam's mom. Sam hates you so much that we were planning a getaway for him and his sister. My plan got foiled. That's a technical term. Anyway, I was trying to save Sam from you. Okay, I'll tell you what. I will not make any more trouble for Sam, I promise. I'll tell that to Sam. He'll be really happy. He's lucky to have you as a friend. I'm lucky, too. 
Sam is very smart and he understands me. And we've kissed more than once. <laughs> so where did you go wrong with Ethan? Oh, I don't know. Didn't know how to be a good father to him. I did things, you know. I tried to make the right choices turn out to be the wrong ones, and I messed it all up. Does Ethan hate you even more than Sam does? He's at the top of the list. I guess that's what happens when you're dead wrong. Life is all about clues. There are millions of them. It's really hard to sort them out. You have to be a very good detective. I can give you a clue about how to be a good father. Do you want to hear it? I would, Lily. Very much. So why do I have to stand here? It's for your parent test. I've already flunked it. No, you haven't taken this one yet. Step one, pretend. Pretend is where you act like something is real even when it's not. It's kind of complicated, but it works. Can you do it? I'll give it a shot. Okay, step two. Pretend that I'm your child. I got it. Step three, watch. Stop! Why'd you stop me? Well, you almost walked into the wall. Well, if I ran into the wall walking backwards, I would learn to walk forwards and not to run into walls. Okay, wouldn't it be better not to hit anything at all, maybe? My dad would call what you just did interfering. My new mother would call it being a good parent. Ah, well, who's right? That's the problem. It's not like mathematics. There's so many different ways to work a problem and an infinite number of answers. I think that if children are adult children, what you did was interfering. What do you think? I think you're right. I can't see your face. Are you happy or sad? You're sad. I'm sorry. That's okay. I've done nothing but interfere since I met Ethan. Wound his life. So that's why he's at the top of your list. Yeah, that's why. I really was trying to do the right thing. I was trying to save my son. People make too many mistakes. Life jackets are the only sure thing. I don't think that's going to fix it for Ethan and me. Well, you could try unconditional love. It's what my dad has for me. It's kind of hard to explain, but I know I have it for him, too. You're very lucky. I better get going. Good night. Good night. And Lily. Thank you for... Talking to me. Helped a lot. I'll tell Sam not to hate you anymore and that you won't be the bad guy for his family. Thanks. They really do work.